Using number of variables into your prototypes can be really a game changer. In this video, you will learn how to create these counters to level up your Figma prototypes. Let's go. In the first example, let's create this counter of calories that you want to burn each day. So here we will have the minus to decrease the value of calories or the plus to increase the values. And I've set it already this design so that you can grab the file from the description and use it directly so that you can focus on using variables. And also I created the button component so the actions will be triggered easily. And if you don't know how to create a button component or component properties, I have some videos specifically for that. And you can find them in the description or appearing somewhere here. Okay, so let's go to variables. The first thing you need to do is to set your local variables. For that, you click in your canvas so that you have here the local variables and you click this button and it appears this window. Okay, now we want to set for this example a number variable and for that you can hit create variable, select number and we will call this calories value and let's set the value i don't know 50. now we want to associate this calorie value to our 90 value that we have here so for that we select the layer go here to typography menu and you, you have this icon to apply variable you click and now you select the calories value and what will happen is that this value will update so to see the relation between this number and the variables if i change now here the value to 30 it will update and the same for 90 or 95 for example next what we need to do is to apply the conditions to each button to increase or decrease this value and to do that we select our instance the instance is an instance of this main component okay so i just drag it from here to my design just like that and we will apply the logic here behind so here on top you go to prototype and with the instance selected you click here in in this plus to add an interaction and we will set the trigger on click and the action will be set variable of calories value and then we want to write the expression and the expression will be when i click minus it will set this value so my calories value minus one for example it can be minus two minus five minus ten you decide depending on your use case then just hit enter to apply and the condition is applied to that button next we do the same for the plus so go here select the instance then you click into this plus trigger on click set variable the same local variable that we created and we want the expression to be calories plus one and hit enter now you can press shift space to open this preview or go here on top and select present or preview what i'm using it's the preview and now you can start clicking on plus to increase the amount of calories or minus to decrease the amount of calories okay but you don't want to uh, increase or decrease by one value doesn't matter you can select back the interaction and here in the value expression instead of one let's select calories minus 10 and in this one let's do the same so change here to plus 10 and if you test now the prototype you notice that it will increase always by 10 okay sounds easy tell me in the comments if this was easy for you next up let's create this prototype for this card and cards are very common to use on dashboards websites for example when you are booking an hotel or a house so what will happen here is that you want to increase or decrease the amount of people or pets that you will bring with you in this travel let's say so i created already the button component the same as the example before and we will apply the logic 
here to this button so it's the same principle the thing here is that you need to have more local variables so for these zeros these values we will create different local variables click again uh, outside our uh, frame go back to design and here open again the local variables and let's start creating the number variable so one for adults we can put adults value and we will keep the zero value because in the beginning when we are filling this form it can be zero children also zero one for infants and one for pets and as you can see we are mixing here the local variables into the same view but we can group them so if you click and hold shift between pets and adults value then right click and you can create a new group with selection and let's call this cards card example so here on top you still have the all variables view but here you have the card example okay and the same for this one we can create this we can name this calories example okay cool so now let's do the same thing again so here in the adults let's select zero go to your typography panel and select adults value then do the same for children let's match now the children variable infants variable and pets variable okay so now this is the local variable applied so for example if i go here and that's why i'm doing it uh, individually if i change adults value to five it will update here okay and we need to do it individually otherwise all will be uh, the same value let's put it back to zero then we need to apply the prototype uh, interactions to our button so select the, this instance go to prototype here on top and now click on this plus and i want that on click i want to set the variable we are in adults so the adults value should be adults value minus so a subtraction one then we do the same here on click set variable adults value and i want adults value in my expression to be plus one okay so i will fast forward this part but before that you can copy and paste your interactions to other components for example if i want this one if you go here on top you can click and select you have this highlight on blue and then you can hit command c okay and select this plus and now command v and then the same for these ones but you need you still need to change here the expression because we are linking the variable to adults value so here what we need to do is change so instead of adults i want pets and the same here so i will delete the expression and i say pets plus one okay and you do everything for the other ones so i will fast forward this part so that we get to the prototype and see it in action okay now all the variables are mapped with the expressions I believe correctly applied so let's test it hit shift plus back again and here on top let's change to exercise two of our cards and let's start clicking okay 10 adults five children two infants and six pets and you also you can also decrease the value so right now we don't have a way to limit at zero i believe so it will go to negative values but uh, you get a point for your use cases and this is really cool now that we can do this with variables because previously to have these kind of combinations you needed to create a lot of frames 
and with local variables as you can see you only need this frame and then you set all the expressions and conditions to apply into your designs and that's it for local variables tell me in the comments if this helped you in some way and how you will apply this into your work next watch my playlist with more figma tutorials thank you and have a great day